Sports brought to you by Jim White Honda. Good evening, everyone. At Tyler Segerman here with you outside the Glass Bowl at the University of Toledo, where history is being made for the first time in more than four decades. The Italian Bowl has made its way to America. The University of Toledo awarded the honor of becoming the first U.S. host for this game. More than 12,000 fans converging to witness Italy's version of the Super Bowl. And it truly felt like a Saturday in the fall, tailgating signs and a whole lot of team support. The game itself featured the defending champions, Ferenzi Gelfi and the Parma Panthers, who both entered the weekend with an 8-1 and one record. Plenty of dazzling plays on the field helped cap a remarkable experience for everyone in attendance. Honestly, They've been so friendly. I mean, I saw Sean. I got a picture with them. I mean, they've been they've been in the city, hanging out with everybody. It's been incredible. Would you propose the Italian Bowl coming back to Toledo or back to Ohio next year? It should be the official spot. I mean, look, we love having them here. Bring them back. We've all been tailgate uh, tailgate aficionados here at the Glass Bowl for 25, 30 years. We're all we go travel the whole world with the Rockets. So um, just another day to come to the Glass Bowl and tailgate and have a great time. It's just so cool that they celebrate the game we love so much here over there too. And we're gonna have a much bigger crowd here for the game than they get for their championship over there. So yeah. it's so excited and we're hoping to make it a tradition every year. It's a, a dream come true. Uh, it's like for uh, astronaut to go to the, to. to moon uh, it's it's a dream it's really a dream yeah and it's the price for all the efforts during these long years yeah and show how our movement uh, is grown during the year of course, there's another huge event taking place tonight just a few miles west into downtown. Fight night inside the Huntington Center featuring Toledo's own Jared Anderson. Now, his main event bout didn't come without some changes. The real big baby, as he's known as, originally had unbeaten Zong Kazabuski as his opponent, but due to visa issues, had to withdraw last week, which meant former heavyweight champ Charles Martin stepped in. The 37-year-old is 29-3-1 overall in his career. Yet for Anderson, the last minute change didn't mean a whole lot simply because tonight is about him and his city. Um, for myself, I come prepared for any and everything. You know, um, luckily he's still Southpaw. I think that was the biggest reason that we chose him as the secondary opponent because they gave us a few. Um, he's also a bigger name. He was a, a former world champion. Like I said, I prepare for everything. So um, it didn't throw a monkey wrench in the plan, but it definitely, you know, made us go back to the drawing board and look at the, the tapes and, you know, come back with a plan. His fight will be aired tonight on ESPN beginning at 10 o'clock. There are two other Toledo boxers as well in the undercard. We'll have coverage from the Huntington Center coming up later tonight. Until then, that's all for sports.